the thing. I don't think we're going to need the manure anymore. I don't think that's going to happen again. The slurry, maybe, but I'm not sure. No. I think now that we've got the mods back in order, I think the, the level 10 dairy will in time start to bring that back down the other way. I, I don't think it'll do it instantly because it was getting to such a stupendous amount. That, uh, yeah, now then, have we got anything in? No, we haven't. Yeah, this will... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Of course, it did, did the manure overnight. Well, that's a point. Have I not? Have I done my animals yet? We did go overnight, didn't we? Yeah, we are, we need to do a bit more. Slurry is up to eighty-five ton again, so it means the manure is going to be up to. And now, now notice the milk. This is more like what it should be. Now, obviously, that's not full. As in, like there are some of our cows that aren't quite full. Full. Yeah. I mean, and also, I think we need to go and see um, some of male. Although I don't think there are, yeah, this is one of the things that the um, enhanced animal system did. It did males. Now this won't recognise them anymore. They're all females now, yeah, because that was part of that particular mod, which I did like that aspect of it in some ways. Although it was annoying because you're not used to it. But the bottom line is, it is real. It is realistic. The game is sort of. Yeah, been very kind to us, really, in so much as we've always had females, and and obviously that was trying to. Do, I did like that about it, even though it was a pain and I've got to adjust because of that. Likewise, these are the same. Yeah, 100 odd now, I think. That is just over 100. So that's now going to fill that pen properly. Yeah, so pubescent, reproducing, 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 pubescent. So there's 29 that are pubescent and have only just gone into puberty so yeah oh no they're a little bit older so they're, they're from a different batch so yeah we bought them over different things don't we this is the new batch which they're they're old i mean as in like yeah they are producing milk i believe aren't they they're... no no they're not they must be our original ones because they were near they were close these are the ones we bought they've got to be no they're they're older I'm a little bit confused. I am really. Yeah, I, I thought we'd um <laughs> got the chicken coop. Is, is that not showing was our why is the chicken coop not showing? Now that's a little bit bizarre. We have a ducks are Oh no, of course. That's gonna be one of those things that it now no longer recognises the ducks. So that means a bit of a pain because we were we did have ducks and now of course the ducks are no longer a thing nor, nor are the goats that you could have under the enhanced animal system yeah there are a few things which obviously we've taken a bit of a hit why did the bailer miss this oh the bailer didn't miss it no no you weren't doing that before oh now it's doing that thing where it's putting grass down it had stopped it and now all of a sudden it's doing it again. Look, it's doing that magic grass thing. No. Oh, come on. You'd stopped this earlier. Oh, I do hate this. It doesn't even stop if you do that. No, it doesn't. It is definitely the samurai that does this as well. It, I know you can see it's the samurai in a way now, but it is the samurai that causes it. The only way I can stop this is if he is literally... <sighs> right, let's just try and finish this patch. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do. I can't stop because this has got the last little bit in. I think what... We don't normally manage this field on what we've got. So somehow, <laughs> somehow, we have actually managed to finish this this time, which is rather stupendous. No, that doesn't stop it either. Right. Okay, well, we're going to have to leave that to its devices. I, I don't presume it'll stop eventually. That's... Yes, yeah, when you burst one of those bags, and of course, I'd totally forgotten about that, as you do sometimes. Right, now then we need to grab, let's drop that back. And then we need 
to grab. That and we grab the weight, and we will go through our uh, animal. Or do we? Do we leave that? No, 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 no. We'll finish the day. You know, we've uh, done all the work, and we've done the very thing that I always say not to do, which is uh, leaving the animals to last. Uh, is there a little bit? I think that's. The, uh, is it lime? I don't think it is. Yeah, we will refill a tractor. No, it is. That should about actually do us. I do love this. It is amazing by DS power. Yes, and we will have to bring some um, fertilizer on because we have got an awful lot down at the bottom. So we could just take the boxes down, really. We could do a run where we just take the two boxes down. Would be the, perhaps the easiest way. I can't remember if these feel like that. No, no, we'll book it, but we've got. Yeah, the other thing is, I did think, I've looked at the wheel load and I looked in editing at that at this, this last session and I thought. Do you know something? It would be so much easier if we just gave it the big back handler. It is the, about the best implement for it. So that's one thing I am going to say definitely that that is true. So we'll swap it and I'll put the uh, other on the, um, the not the tele the front loader. Yeah, we'll put that on the front loader. I think. I mean, this has still last quite a while actually. In fact, it might just about outdo the uh, let's play itself really. Yeah. Not not that I'm thinking of literally stopping this very moment. I am wanting to go to the um, White Farm, though, definitely. That is where we are heading next. So I'd like to do uh, one of the Cali maps um, to to the end, rather than as I have done almost all the other uh, Cali. Well, no, I think I only did St. Cali, didn't I? So this is the second map that I've actually done of, um, of Cali's. Or KA seventy seven E as it looks like, but it is it is Cali. Yeah. Ooh, and I did. Uh, yes, I have wandered that around somewhat. I don't know how I've done that. Oh no, that is on the normal grass. Yeah, it's not on the cutting grass. Right. Okay then. Let's set this again. And we are going to go down to the bottom. We are going to do the animals quickly. And then we are going to give it, call it a... Now then, yes, we all, uh, yeah, next session, we will be buying a lot ready for the morning. I, w I wanted to go through till the morning, but I think, yeah, now that I've realised there's a quite a lot of work for us still to now, I believe there is one in that shed. I'm sure we actually left it in there. Can you see it? See the tractor in there? Can't see it, can you? There we go. Right, let's grab this. Uh, so it looks like we need a bit of everything. And we also need to grab the... Yeah. Uh, now you can actually have a normal. Yeah, I did use the um, on the testing. I did. We used the thirty tonner, the Omatana, but we used the super duper version. Yeah, we did. We used the. So now what are you doing? What are you trying to do there? That's not where you want to be. Yeah, I did. I used the super duper version, and it. Um, forgetting where I was going with that. Apologise. Yeah. That's <laughs> literally, that, that threw me a, a wobbler. I, I'll think about it in a minute. Yeah, I've got some Cali going around in my head and, and yeah, I'm trying to think where I was going at that point. Now, yeah, straw, Let, let's concentrate on this and it might come back to me. I always think the more you chase, the more it disappears. Right, so, oh, wow, so, oh, mine's 690 still, but straw, I think we just do one, looking at that. Slurry, yeah, we need to do the slurry in the mill. How was I going with that? Yeah, we need next session. I was going to talk about the um, equipment that we need. We've obviously bought the 
big sugarcane harvester that can also pull its own thing, which I'm quite chuffed about. That should be next month or maybe the month after at the very, very latest. And of course we're going to need another sugar bee. That's what I'm saving up for. We met, yeah, I know, I almost, I was looking at it and I was thinking, you might be able to buy the big field. And I thought, if you buy the big field, you're not going to be able to buy your sugar bee harvester. You could at least do the number one. I mean, we keep threatening, and it's also that we could do the second harvester. So really, we could easily blow about 700,000 of that, what we've got there. So even though we'll be going through till tomorrow morning, we're still going to have a massive dent out of all of our things. Of course, the farm will pretty much then be in a position that it really does not need that much more of anything, really. Yeah, I would like to stick the, my things in this while we've still got I always often sort of uh, talk about getting sheds and then do it on the very last session or something. And I would like to do that before we actually are on the last session of uh, Neverland. Yeah, I'm wanting to do at least one year though of us with all of our fields. Yeah, I don't really want to just buy the field and then go. Yeah, that, that's not really the idea. So I'm hoping to get to the end of this year. And then at least one more year. Um, yeah, I'm trying to trying to make the Let's Plays last um, for so many years. Now, let's have a look on this. I did the map update. It, it was only for collectibles, so there's, I was a little bit disappointed. But years played two. So really, we've only done... Yeah, well, this isn't, we're not a long time on the map. I'd like it to be at least three years on almost every Let's Play. So we'll be in the fourth year by the time we finish this, is what I'm hoping. Ooh. And gone one minute. It blocked by an object. Is that the grass itself? Has that foxed it a little? Oh, I see why. Yeah, I do. That, that that's there's a a bit of an insurmountable object, really. Yeah, it might actually do the rest, but yeah. That was a bit bad. Oh, what is that? Oh, the samurai clusters. We dropped it. I'd imagine it might have a bit of a blockage there as well. Now then, is that was? It is. Yes, this is a. a I do love this enclosure. Um, I like the smaller one slightly because this is just stupendous. It's so much space in this that. It's hard to feel, it really is. This is the one we went for on my No Man's Land test. And it was a bit of a beast. I had to use the um, Omatanas, the enhanced, the XL ones that I would never... Well, I did use it once on Balkanska because I actually bought one by mistake in the sales. I think I put one on another Let's Play equally that's also uh, yeah, a cheaty one. But it was it came like that. I would never choose to buy one. And I don't know if you can. I don't think you can. Yeah, you've got to have that. I mean, I do secretly like it, but I am trying to aim for realism. So I would never buy it in the shop, really, unless it was in the sales. And then, yeah, tier mark. I think we should be getting almost to the point. No, we're not. I think we need to be well over a mil. Yeah, I'm worried that the effectiveness needs to be an orange to actually make this okay, but I can't remember. Ah, we are blocked by an object again. Okay, let's put this in and then we should pop up to the top. I think we're going to finish that ourselves and then we'll come back down and we will finish this off. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the uh, sugar cane harvest. I might actually do it all myself. I'm, I'm, that's why I was wanting the one with the... Uh, Hitch at the back. I do enjoy my sugar cane. Not so with a little one, I might add. Yeah, well, I have done it, but it, you you lose a lot. Le le letting a worker work with one is, in my opinion, the better way to go. Yes, I'm going to be back on court. For, I, I wanted to sort the matter out of everything that was wrong. And before, oh, ah, it's just the same place. It's transport lines. Okay, then we we're going to do this ourselves now. One last little run. Right, okay, then. This should just about do this. I do apologise for that. Well, this isn't my fault. No, not, not really. Well, you could argue it is, but yeah, if you can say that m me having a 
the samurai I am I love the samurai I really do uh, but this is just one of those things that is a little has it stopped I think it has I think so let's have a look Uh, no, it's just yeah. I think it might do a reset if we leave. I think it will reach. Yeah, it definitely wasn't putting any more grass in. So I think that's sort of stuck. They will leave that, and I'm hoping that next session it will have packed in and we can grab it back. So wow, I did use a lot of fertilizer actually. This is a full one. Oh, it's only 2.2 tons, so really that's not that much. But yeah, it did use more than I thought it would. Right. Fantastic. So job is a good one at this. That is definitely the last, last cut now. And we should, uh, yeah, I mean, there's an awful lot of grass that's just been done. And I, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I know Milk Light Hen thought it hilarious that last time I did this. But yeah, it's, it really is not done for effect, which is another reason why I, I think going forwards, probably the Samurai and I might use the MX. It's a little bit less nice, but it's sort of more like one of the 2.2 ton proper front boxes that you can get for the um, fertilizer and lime and seeds that you can get on some of the uh, planters so I used to have those in FS19 and then of course the what's it called it, I think it may have been the Joskin but it, I don't know that it was it was the transporter or something like that it was my first foray into one of those front boxes which we really were only supposed to go on the back but yeah, it was about the same as the front box, so I could never understand what all the fuss was about. I can with the Samurai. It's it's uh, three point five tons. I mean, obviously, it's really meant as a as a shovel, uh, as a, a bucket. Uh, it's a three point five ton bucket, which of course that is quite believable. But it yeah, with it having this bit of a problem, it, it's sort of yeah again, it's that anti-realism malarkey. It, it is. I'm trying to. It's a shame because it is my favourite one of those type of things. The Joskin doesn't do it. Again, though, that's a little bit big and it is just a three point. So, really, it's meant to go on the back. So, as for realism, I'm trying to steer clear. Whereas the MX is only as big as, even if it's supposed to be at the back, it is only as big as those um, natural front boxes that you do have for the planter. So, I don't see anything wrong with using that. But again, you could use it on a front load with one of the adapters if, if everyone felt strongly enough about it and they didn't want to see that. Well, that's believable. It's no different to having the Samurai. The thing I love about the Samurai is it looks a bit small. It's one of those things that it looks about right on the front of a tractor, whereas the Joskin is a little bit big. You can tell it's really supposed to go on the back. So even if you had an adapter, it's still a little bit large right now. Are we looking in the orange yet or what? I think we're going to go on and on and on until we're in the orange. Let's try a million. Yeah, it's going to take us a, a two or three more loads. It's a shame. You should really be able to tell them to do this. I have tried the looping thing and, and some people get it to work. I've never got it to work. So... Apologies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my wife uh, just phoned me to let me know that I needed to fetch my daughter, which I already knew, but yes, just checking. Right, that's to, where were we? I know we would feed in the animals, and yeah, I think I, I think it's going to be around. Yeah, and then we need to do the slurry in the milk, and that is is. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Are we gonna go through till tomorrow morning? I think so. Yeah, well, I think that's about. I'm interested to see what manure we get because that's. Obviously, there was an awful lot. What? How did that get there? Did I drag it along? That, that's what I'm thinking. Quite possibly. Yeah, so you definitely wish to stay at least another year. Well, I'd like to buy the big bit. I'm hoping we get that in the winter. Uh, we've got that extra silage that we wouldn't normally have, that I probably wouldn't normally have done. And I thought, well, we can actually do that. We just. Yeah, in the FS19 I actually used to cut every day, which seems a bit excessive now, but at the time I, I figured in my head that it was better to cut at first growth stage all the time, but it meant an awful lot of work, really, and it was the most fertile 
at third growth stage, but it did, I'm sure it took longer or something on FS19. I think it was an extra, so you were probably the most effective to do it at second growth stage. But you could do it every day and it was it was fair yeah you can do it at first growth stage here and it's obviously less but it's obviously more often but yeah especially to begin with on um, it still works so it doesn't really matter if you're going to cut it in second growth stage like we have done today still an awful lot of grass it's better than leaving it till next year but also i don't like to cut it when it's not got any chance to grow ah, i must have dragged it from here that's where i got it from now that makes perfect sense, right? No, no, let's just, it feels so quick that this does, it's just hardly worth jumping around. Dynamism is one thing, but filling from this is super duper quick, it really is. Yeah, there's some very interesting mods. I've, uh, say, I've loaded the ore cam. It's had a bit of an update. It's a bit, the only thing I'm gonna say is it's pickup for straw pickup. And is it, that's a bit of a waste of time uh, unless the modder actually increases the width and it can't even really cope with something like a 6.5 meter yeah I, I did um, a 7.8 or an 8.4 meter windrow which is a bit on the small side and it did a third of the windrow it went straight down the middle and left almost an equal amount on either side and I thought well that's a pretty poor <laughs> it really is a pretty poor width it was a total waste of the wages I was paying the worker and I thought, mm. and then I took over for a bit and I thought, nah, that, that's not gonna work. It might be cheap, but you'd need to go around the field three times to get your windrows. I thought, no, am I not gonna do that? So that, that's, I hope it's gonna have a, it has had an update today, but it was nothing to do with that. So that's not what it read in the change on, which is a bit of a shame, really. Now then, let's have a look. Oh, we'll do one more, but uh, yeah. Thing to get in the green if i remember right it's over 2 million to get in the green <laughs> so i think it's 2.5 million max uh, the uh, on this one it's uh, much less on the the smaller one i think it's 750 or a mil or something like that but on this it's 2.5 mil yeah because we went over 2 million and it takes to get over 2 million to go into the green but i think if you're in the orange you're all right so we'll do one more for posterity and then both the uh, this and the straw are both in uh, yeah in orange, which I think that's sort of the minimum it needs to be, so as it doesn't affect things. So then we'll quickly get the slurry and the manure and the milk. We'll stick that straight into the uh, yeah. We're going to stick that in the production, the production stroke silo. <laughs> yeah, because it is a bit. It is a bit of a bit of a super duper it really is right, so we need to be grabbing yeah in fact now now we can now we can grab the other oh you've got uh it's you you are the one we need fantastic oh, we had not started your hour ah. oh no no i left it in pause i didn't actually yes i didn't stop the game i left everything exactly where it was and just quickly went and we also need the little lorry here on the left the right left <laughs> yeah i don't think we've started your engine so we will start your engine whilst we do this and i'm not sure yeah this i'm intrigued on seeing how much we've actually got left yeah left yeah now how much we actually get shall i say so 38 tons respectable it's not bad yeah it's not not obviously um we have also got straw that we can now turn to manure that is one thing i am going to say so actually that's something we are going to do now yeah we can stick that on the production shed because i think now we're going to need to oh we also need yeah that is a point if we go uh, i'm just trying to think out loud if we go to the production shed production shed if we do straw plus no we've got more digestate at the minute now if that is should send some digestate to that and we're going to put some straw which if we go to our big production we should be able to send some straw to that because we've got like about 700 tons still left so we switch that on and we go to distribute and that should 
distribute that to where it's needed really on the hour then that should produce quite a bit of manure for tomorrow morning although i think yeah i think we're going to need to increase it's no trouble to start productions going you've got to speed up and out all that yeah i think it does no no i think that works differently we've seen it do both things where it does a little bit of an hourly tick up and then other times where it uh, does all in one gush so it's a bit hard to work out because it seems to, for diff be, to be slightly different for different things right so that's that now we want the, the little tank here i am so blown away by how good this is i've also got that mod on actually so we can have a look at this if we go in trucks i've got the mod on that actually shows the name of the modder which i think is absolutely amazing uh oh i won't have ticked it will i of course no no i need oh no it does adam's kong yeah 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 brilliant so the one we've got is this one here only we it is by nasif modding so it's not pepe yeah this is the one i thought and this is the one we've got only we did it silver yeah we did the back silver instead is that that one it looks completely different no it's not that one it's not it is it's lizard all right okay let's look again further along it is very reasonable but what i mean is i'm not i'm not sure that i would have actually thought anything of it apart from we've got it on this and it really is amazing which one is it ah that one there it's twenty four thousand five hundred. Oh no hang on no it's that one it is that one but it's the w50 las a hundred and fifty horsepower and that obviously we silvered that and gave it it made it look really beautiful but it is an old truck but what i'm saying for twenty five thousand with a rear hitch and that i mean don't get me wrong it's no oil painting we had to spray ours up and make it look really beautiful but it's a nice little lorry and it is by grabfeld schmeid ing <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise if I've uh, marmalised the, the way you say that, but I don't think I was too far out. I think I was okay with part of it. I don't know what the E of it is. I think there's another modder's name at the back of that, so yeah, all right, now we're going to try to get this. I, I'm quite amazed by it for, for it. I've had a much higher horsepower. I think that's why I don't think I would ever have bought this, but now I've had it on this, I would definitely give this a shot. It's not, it's got a a pull engine. Brilliant. Now that we need, now we are going for mill, and we're going to stick that tw almost 28 tons into the production to go to the, again we've got a over 500 tons of milk in there so it'll be interesting to see let's have a quick look at that how much have we got in the thing in the thing in the dairy if <laughs> we have 508 tons so that should be up to 535 in the morning but it should really really absolutely yeah it should start to go the other way if i'm honest now that we are not keep producing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of litres. Oh, um, you've just contaminated that milk. You've used the wrong one. I have. Yeah, luckily for us, our production has a filtration system. Wink, wink. No, no, I mean, to be honest, it probably may have. I would really throw this away. Luckily, it is a game. But it is, yeah, I, I have got to be honest. Oh, yeah, I, I, do I feel strong enough that I would stick that into the... Well, it would be ruined in real life. But I haven't got... Have I, got, I could put a government, government drain down as penance for not paying attention. Yeah, do you know something I am going to... I agree with that. It's true. You've got to you've got to stand up and be counted, really. It's no good like saying, "Oh, I'm played by realism," and then like you're not. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a lot of mud, a lot in the. Now, where is it? I always get mixed up. Is it in the tools? 
buckle on the tray. Oh, remember. Don't place it up. Okay, darling. Hope you God bless. I apologise for that. <laughs> right. What is it? It's starting farmhouses. Silo sheds? Every single time. It's not decoration. It's in pro uh, production. It's selling points or something like that. Because technically it's a selling point, but really it's not. <laughs> you have to pay them for the uh, pleasure of having the... Uh... That's a point. Do we use the snow? No, no. no. Let's pay penance for, for yeah, doing this. It really is my own fault. And you should pay attention to this type of thing. Really. Um, it's going to hurt me because obviously we've got to pay someone else rather than them pay us. That really does hurt. It does. Okay, now let's go and get the uh, slurry, which, <laughs> yeah, it is true, you have got to put your money in your mouth here sometimes, you can't, you can't half say something and then not follow through really, although it does hurt, it's, it's in situations like that where you think, oh, that really does hurt, now does this still, can I still get the slurry out of this? Or, or is it only in the other one? In which case, we can actually remove this. No, we can actually still get it out of this. Right, okay, well, that that's, answers that question. I think we could actually, though, get rid of this and just have the other one now, because it does, it will work. We know because we've used it on... Uh, no, we need to be on this. Yeah, the fact that this can pull a 67 tonner it's a little bit of a slow pull off, but it does it. That's impressive. I definitely would have this lorry again, especially for the fact it's got a rear edge as well. 24,500. Again, it's a bit of a one of those barn fine jobbies, but it's still amazing. It does the job nicely. And if you can make it look as beautiful as that, to be honest, yeah. Spend a couple of grand on uh, nice paintwork. Although we've got a special uh, paint person. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going with this? Because I do believe you need to be going to the production shed. I think if you can get in there, because I thought since we've left the, uh, the other one in the way a little. I'm not sure if there's any space for this. If there isn't, we're going to stick this straight into the BGA. Yeah, because this was, there was quite a lot of slurry. Oh, we can get in there, that's the one. Oh, boy, ah, it's on the on. We need to shift it, it's, it's, it's switched it off because it's on it. If we go back to that now, we should find it's able to uh, show the, yeah, it'll look exactly like that. Let's have a look, how much have we got? Will we get rid of all of that? Production shared. Not sure. It's going to be close. I think we'll do it just about. Was there any slurry left inside the animals? I think we might leave that till the morning. Because it's, it's going to catch up, if I'm honest. So I think that is us. Now that, yeah, now the bad thing is we paid for chickens that have disappeared in a puff of smoke because they, they were ducks, but we did pay for them. So I have a good mind to actually buy them and, and literally give us the money back. Yeah, and will it? Yeah, you can see the results there, but we've got no chickens anymore. Yeah. So, animals. Yeah, we will pull. It's only fair, it really is. Uh, wheat, 61 tons, right. 
Is it here? I think it is. No, it's not. It's here. It is just around here, actually, yeah. Right, so, rooster. let them breed. I know they've filled already, I know it's annoying, but hey, oh that's a point. We have got that to feed in the other bin. Let's fill it up. I do like that. That is impressive. Yeah, I do like that. I'm gonna have to start doing that because it's what farmers really do have feed bins like that. So I think actually going forwards that's not a bad idea. Yeah, uh, and you're gonna really need to come around a little bit. I think we're filled. I think so. Oh, we were going to pay ourselves the money back. Do you know something? No, it didn't cost us. I'm not, I'm not worried. I know it's technically as should and all that, but... Right, so I believe we're going to take this through till tomorrow morning. We are going to leave it there. We will be at the month of harvest. We should check for sales. And that is it. And nine o'clock. And next session, it's going to be Court Farm. Yep. Looking forward to that, if I'm honest. All that's going to be all change. Although I'm glad, because it was the last session was a, a nightmare with, obviously, how much uh, milk and everything that there was. Ooh, wow. That's the grass, the silage, the energy. Ooh, I didn't think we'd be able to do that. Ooh, I think we will. I do really think we will. What's the, oh, it is. It's half price. Starfire 3000. Is that GPS? I never, ever bother with that. Ever, ever. Spread star. I don't know what that means. And we will buy that. And we will buy the back for it straight away. Which, can't, isn't this the wet, dry one? Can't you actually do... I think you can. I think it's got the fertilizer spreader back to this as well. It's wet and dry, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I think we had this. No, it's not that one. It is. It might be that one. No, it's not. Okay, okay, or is it, does it just go in the sprayer back? Maybe it does, uh, I think it is that one, isn't it? Self-propelled sprayer. Is there an, uh, I might be thinking of the Trident. I think the Trident's got a double a one as well, hasn't it? I'm sure it is that one. Let's just check. I want to get this right. 4940. 4940. <laughs> what? Go on, let's do it. If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. It's a little bit more than I was trying to think. That's cost us more than the actual unit. Wow, okay. And we also want, most importantly... Oh, no, no, no. We, we, yeah, we'll just check. That is that is the sales. It was the sales. So we want another... No, I think I'm going to go for... Yeah, this the, isn't the one that is the multi-fruit that does both. And I think we're going to go for this because I'd like to go potatoes. So I think it's as much as it's expensive. Can you do this with the other one, though? Can you do... Is I think it is in that one. I think that's the one that does both, if I'm honest. I don't think the beet one... 
is multi fruit. Oh, I did always want to go with that. Ah, multi fruit, you can. I, I think, is it not the same thing? It's cheaper. <laughs> it is. Uh, if, how big is the 45 cubic meters? It's just, that's the bigger header, isn't it? It's not an awful lot bigger, though, is it? I'm quite impressed with the Rex having its header as well. I think it's is it half a metre. doesn't say, but I'm almost sure it is that when I've had this for contracts. But yeah, I think it's 3.5 or 3.25 or something like that. I think we're going to go for this because it's going to do two things. And we are going to go buy. Yes. Fantastic. The only thing is we're going to have to go, to, because we've got two of them and they're not the same, we're going to have to go by the smaller header size and there's going to have to be a bit of overlap to make it work as a multi, as two two things on the same field. That's the only disadvantage, truthfully. Perhaps could have gone for the Colossus. Hasn't that got a bigger header? We could actually afford one of those as well. I'd like to have a look at this. Oh, you Wally, you could have done that. Oh, that's so annoying. We could actually. So, how much is the header on that? Potato technology. Potato header. Does, ah, so you have to buy the separate headers. Ah, of course. Yeah, no, that, I do get it now. Potato header unrealistic. It's still only four meters. This would also go better with our other one. Now, we'll, we'll stick to what we've done. I, I, yeah, it is what it is. I, it's unfortunate I didn't see it in time, but it is, yeah, it is what it is. We'll leave it as it is, definitely. We'll keep that one. And we've got two of those. Harvester. Now then, let's have a look quickly at the field should be golden, as the saying goes. If we look at that at that that's dark oh now that's ready and so is that and so is 18 and so 17 i said we were gonna have a busy session and i wasn't kidding we're gonna be very busy next session yeah so we've got uh that one for our two harvesters we've got that one that we're gonna do ourselves and 18 we've got ah now that is a point we have um sunflower which we've got a proper header for and that's corn i believe is it not It is. So I wanted to do that special thing so we can't be in two places at once. Yeah. Now this, this, I'm going to save the game now. Yeah, we need, we need to switch. Yeah, what I'd like to do is, I'd like, I think we're going to lease it first because I'm really not sure about this. It is, I think it is in, in the, is it in the forage? Now, it's under forage harvester head forage harvesters and yet it doesn't look you don't when you think you think it's not a forage harvester but it is it is is it under this section you know the all kind of is a little bit yeah i think i'd sooner go for mine look at the price of that though that is so unbelievable you could buy four of those for the same price as the four shrit and the fush is a little bit bigger, but not by a lot. So, yeah, that all can represents very good value. If that modder, if Deusvolt does the yeah, the pickup, then it would be really, really an absolute unbelievable, unbeatable little thing. Yeah, let's, let's say this right. So I think it is under he headers, actually. For, here we go. Yeah, the LH2. I think there's a newer model. I'm sure there's another LH2. And, yeah, this comfort support wheel but it's been adjusted but it is that really and i think you can this is what i'd like to test we can only use our big yeah here we go the lh2 mixer. i don't know what the difference between that and i don't want the manual pipe no i'm quite happy with that so we're going to buy additional yeah we will uh yeah pack so, yeah long definitely we're going to buy this, no matter what, because I'm going to use it. But I'm not sure whether we're going to lease. 
the other because this really is in essence a forage harvester and if you have a big tractor like the one we've got this should work quite nicely but you do need to buy this is a six meter and it relies on 510 horsepower so that's got no horsepower requirements because really it's this that's important now because we've got 800 horsepower b so you can also have this but i'm not sure if this is going to work still it's two thousand dollars let's not worry about it and we want one of the big ones that you couldn't normally do but this is a bit of it that's why i've saved the game because we can go for the biggie really and uh, well look at the horsepower requirement 650 why have we run out of headers they can usually go up to nine meters As, as it's gone yeah have i gone past it and then it starts again yeah these are the nine meters that collect oh that's a point i wonder if that would work either sure i've always wanted to do that isn't there a reasonable one now as well that does that do corn yes it does so i'm thinking we're going to try that we've got we've got over 750 horses so we're going to lease that i think and just to test it can't we get a kemper one isn't that supposed to be the brand we're using And also, yeah, let's have a look then at, I'm sure there is another forage harvester that's really very reasonable. I'm sure I put it in. That's it there. Would be interesting just as a test. We have saved the game. Let me quickly come out. Let's switch off. Yeah, I'm only doing this so I know what's going to happen. I'm going to forget about this. So then, let us go back into Orange Harvester headers and let us try that one because it should technically work, but I'm just not sure if it will. So let's go the X collect and see have we got the. Now that's a standard one. And this is the one that's special. So sugar cane or 750 horsepower, we can actually do that. We'll lease it first, and then we are going to borrow you, this bad boy, and we are going to work once. I'm not going to complain that you're going to just drop that there, because I really am really interested on seeing if this actually works. Now, do we need weights? Well, that ballast in the tank might be all right. I do love this, it really is a beaut. I like its lights on the top as well. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I mean that that's 360 degree lights. Twice. <laughs> it's got them all around the cab and then that top top set as well. Amazing. Whoa. <sighs> Probably my fault. Ooh, it looks a little bit busy down here, just to say the least. All right, so all I'm interested in right now is the Lake Tech, and no, well, actually, I'm also interested in that as well. So this is what we need. This bad boy here, and it's the other way around, I think. Yeah, we face with a pipe over our head. I've got this far before. I did this on one other Let's Play. And I think... Then you need to stick... Oh, I'm not sure which way around we're going to do this. Yeah. Like that. And I think... Yeah, we still need the... Do we stick the wheels on first? I think it does go underneath that. 
I'm not sure which way around we do it, whether we stick this on now or whether we do it with the No, I would say need the header. Now this might not work because we're not using the top header. But technically the fittings are right. It's just whether the mod yeah in real life this would work. Fault pie. Yeah now that's the oh can you maneuver the chem brawl? The make attack hall? Now this is one of the few tractors in the game. No, no, there are a few that could do this. Yeah, there aren't many with a front. Ah, uh, lower harvesting header. Yeah, that might struggle somewhat. So I think we're dragging. Oh no, not terribly. It's a little bit draggy on the ground. This would be perfect for, yeah, but it's not powerful enough. No, it isn't that is trick. Yeah, I was gonna say I was thinking of the sin track. Well, that is gonna work though. So now that is a point. Now can you now you've got that one? I don't think you can. I think it's gotta be the So we could technically do our work. We we've just bought the Orse Toft. We have this is true. I think we'll do this for another another let's, but I don't think that's gonna work though. You'd need the proper one because it's an adjustable one. This would work with the real one, but I'd obviously this is not a camper header. So then, can we drop that? Yeah, I think I think we'll send that back. But a proof is for other let another let's play in the future. I think we could do that. When you think of the price of this tractor and the fact that it would work with something like this, it makes this quite a reason. Oh, now that is heavy. Yeah, we know we need a weight on the back, so but it would work. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, I know obviously we we know we've not got access to this land. So then and now that, we will use that, that is definitely true. I'm trying to think how we're going to make the weight at the back of that big enough to cope with the weight of that. We can use the pass-through weight, but I'm not sure that's enough. Of course, it's, it is going to have a trailer on the back as well. But uh, I'm looking forward to that. that. That is definitely something different. And yeah, it is true. I must remember, I've always wanted to use that. We could do a little bit. Could do a little bit with that and then leave the Orstoft. Is it Orstoft? Case. It is the Orstoft. You were right. Smashing. Let's grab that trailer whilst we're here. So I think we're going to do a. Yeah. this before I think it's the yellow one that is the right what it like you work with this and I don't think the black one does I think I did that on another let's play I think I did it on silver or yeah, I don't know why is that a normal pin hitch we will have a go next session. This has been a long enough session. But we have got some nice toys to play with, shall I say? And yes, I perhaps should, I would have liked some of the Colossus, but it is what it is. Yeah, and it, you can't go around if you're trying to go for readers. Let's just stick that back on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with this as well. I can't believe the fact, though, that the, the back all cost more than the actual proper units. Right, let's just repair this quickly. It's got narrows on already, and yeah, I, I don't know what boom size it is. I also don't know the ones I really love. Oh, 
the ones that go fast on the fields. I'm not sure if this one does or not. Let's have a quick look. And that is the last thing we are going to do. We're going to feed the animals, though, before we get under underway. So let's have a look. Crop protection. And now we need to be looking at... It's 31 miles an hour, but does that mean it's 31 miles an hour on the field? The best way to look that up would be to go for crop protection in this. Crop C, Mr. Smith, C. Yeah, one of my absolute favourite is the Bertoud, which goes across the fields at 15 miles an hour. This one goes across the field, it looks like that says 31 miles an hour, so... That will be interesting to see whether that really means that because, yeah, that says 15 miles an hour and 31. So if that does that, that is something special, something that, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having a go at. That only says 31 miles an hour full stop, doesn't tell you the two. And that one says 31 and 15. So the Rubicon doesn't go fast that fast. That does 15 miles an hour on the field and 26 miles an hour so i do love these i mean the jan as well is a 26 meter how much is this one doesn't tell you because you need to look at the back which is in crop protection this one let's have a look then we really are going honest see crop protection Uh, is it sprayers I think for this isn't it yeah it's not <laughs> it's all quite confusing <laughs> it just be some sprayers on this isn't it not crop protection right so it is 36.6 meters 19 miles an hour on the field right so it's that that uh, is a, that's still faster though that's amazing right okay then now that is a point did I save the game before I bought that unit because if I did we could do that next session if i did then we're going to buy the colossus if i didn't then you will be seeing this next time so i'm going to say thank you very much for watching I truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>